So you want to build yourself a creator PC and your budget is roughly around $750. Perhaps you can flex it a little up to $1,300 or so. Then this video is the right one for you because I'm going to show you a PC that's the best bang for buck where no money is wasted but you get the best performance and also going to give you an upgrade path if you have a little bit of flex in your budget, what to upgrade and you know how much performance you're going to get. And this is going to be the best performance PC for you. And this is the best sponsored segment you've ever seen. Skytech Gaming makes the PC building easy. In fact, we're giving away one for free. Choose a pre-built system or configure it to your needs. A PC solution to fit any of your budgets. Skytech Gaming prides itself with excellent customer service and an amazing community of people. Check out their weekly PC giveaways down below. One of my favorite mid-range PCs for creators is one called Shiva. With i5, 12600K, RTX 3060 Ti, Z690 motherboard and DDR5 memory. It's not just powerful, but also affordable. Another noteworthy PC is Cronus, which received It's Better Than Dell by Steve from Gamers Nexus. After Steve's review, that Cronus became the most sold system on their website. By the way, Skytech Gaming is about to launch their creator line of PCs called Skytech Pro. So learn more about that in the description below, as well as the Shiva and Cronus PCs. Thanks Skytech Gaming for sponsoring this video. So there's five very important things before we get started. Started. Number one, the budget. If your budget is a little bit higher, this is a part of a video series. I've got four videos coming out and one extra, which we're going to talk about in a moment. So whatever your budget is, you can fit your budget into any of these PCs and find the best bang for buck PC for you. Secondly, you don't know how to build it? Find out the build guys in the description below. You might be saying, look, you're not using exactly the same parts. Believe me, it works exactly the same. It doesn't matter if it's slightly different motherboard. The header might be in a slightly different place, but you're still going to plug everything in the same place. It works exactly the same. So you can easily follow them even if you use slightly different parts. Thirdly, you're thinking, how do I configure it? What about the software and fan curves and tuning it? I've got those guides in the description below as well. So you can easily follow them and configure the PC to get the best performance and the quietest performance and all the software and everything working for you. Number four, where can I buy these things? In the description below, you can find all the links of everything that I'm talking about. So you can find them over there. If you click on the link, it gives you a few options where to buy the actual item. And I recommend you go check out every single store if you're in the US, for example, so you can get the best price because sometimes Amazon has it a little bit higher or lower than BNH, Adorama, Best Buy, Walmart, whichever one you prefer shopping, check those links out so you're not going to miss out on any of the, you know, prices. And number five, I've got a surprise for you. Surprise PC build, which you're going to have to wait till the end of the video because it's, it's going to be a surprise. So don't be cheating. Don't be going into the, you know, YouTube chapters and finding where is the surprise. Watch the whole video and then you'll get the surprise. Okay, it's a little cookie for you there if you've waited till the end of the video. Another question you might have is what about the 13th gen of Intel? It might be released by the time you're watching this or maybe just about to launch. And what about Ryzen 7000 CPUs? What about them? Will they give us best performance? Should we go with them instead rather than this Intel 12th gen? And my response to that would be with the new platform as a creator, you're always going to enter into like the first person testing. There's going to be issues. I promise you there's going to be some kind of issue somewhere, whether with CPU, RAM, compatibility and if you're doing this like video editing create a work as like your main job you don't want to risk these things because this is like actually money lost for you that you could have you know used time for working you're spending this instead of troubleshooting doing something else that's why we're going with 12th gen we're going to do an updated guide in the new year in the 2023 and then we're going to see like what's the situation then and what's stable over there but if you do want to see like some of the benchmarks for Ryzen 7000 or 13 gen hit subscribe because we're going to do that as well or it might be already out on the channel and also if the new generation comes out then this video that i'm showing you now these parts will be even cheaper which means you're going to get even more bang for your buck okay let's get started we're going to start with the motherboard and for motherboard i have chosen the msi pro b660 m a ddr4 motherboard now at the time of filming this and hopefully by the time i'm actually filming the b-roll for this as well you'll see this should be around 124 dollars and 99 cents this is going to get you started very well and also gives you a very good performance this is one of the best budget boards that you can get out there that's still going to perform and give you the best performance so it's not going to 
throttle, your CPU or anything else. It's a very, very good motherboard. And it gives you all the basics you need to, to get really started. So two NVMe slots, four DDR slots, 12th gen Intel socket and so on. So it's a great starting point. For CPU, we're using the Intel i5-12400. And this CPU is a six core CPU. In fact, right now at this point when I'm making this video, it's the best six core CPU I can found on the market for creators because it also has the iGPU inside. So if you're a video editor, that's gonna give you a killer smooth timeline performance because of the hardware encoding and decoding. So you can also use that for like video export if you're using mirrorless codecs, H.264, H.265, then it's gonna be absolutely amazing amazing CPU. It also comes with the cooler and actually it works quite okay with the cooler and we're not going to get any cooler because we can save a little bit of money over there. So that's a bonus. And the CPU at the time of making this cost roughly around $193 or $94. Now we need an SSD. For the OS system, I'm using a Silicon Power P34A60 SSD. And this is 500 gigabytes in size, and it can do like some of your simpler, you know, kind of projects. If your budget allows, get another SSD because you have another M.2 slot or another SATA port, or you can add your hard drives if you already have some, just connect to the motherboard over there. But this is gonna run your OS and programs and perhaps has a little bit of room left to have like one, two projects, whatever you're working on, depending on your project size but it's an nvme drive pci gen 3 so you're gonna get a lot of bang for your buck performance it's only 33 dollars when i'm not making this so highly recommend that next of all ram for ram we're using 16 gigabytes of silicon power value gaming ddr4 3200 megahertz 16 gigabytes now 16 gigabytes is going to get you started but if you are doing creative work seriously i highly recommend you upgrade this as one of the first things because that is going to be quite a big bottleneck over there you can can do some editing but if you have any multitasking out there you might want to upgrade your ram to 32 gigabytes or 64 gigabytes depending on your budget but this is great value best bang for your starting if you're starting like that there's nothing better you can get out there at the time of making this video now the gpu exciting bit what gpu should we get is the gpu shortage over yes it is over there's a lot of 30 series 20 series cards out there and i can see that an rtx 2060 from evga is on sale on amazon and for around $249.99. Now check out the latest pricing and I'm gonna leave you a few options there just in case this sells out or something else. But this is very, very good card for you to get started. An RTX 3060 is not going to be much better, but is a lot more expensive at the moment. So that's why we're going to go with this card. It's going to accelerate your color grading in Premiere Pro or some of the other things you might be doing in DaVinci Resolve or so on. It doesn't have the most amount of VRAM. It only has six gigabytes on the GPU, but it's still the best bang for buck. Two last things we need is the PSU. For that, I am using the Thermaltake Smart BX1 650 watt power supply. It's a 650 watt enough power to power your system and some of the future upgrades you might have. It's not the most efficient in terms of power, but we are limited on a budget. That's why this is the best for this budget. And for the case, we want something that will fit all of our parts and is not going to be overpriced. For that, I have chosen the Zalman S2 ATX case. It actually comes with three included fans as well, which is going to be very good for the airflow. Looks quite decent. It's very, very cheap. Hard to beat really for that price. Now, you might like a different case. Feel free to get any case you want. But for the best performance for this price point, you can't really beat or get anything better. This is going to be totaling you $755.19. And this is going to be a killer PC if you want to get started or are like beginner or mid-range kind of creator and you want to get something better than it's just a laptop. It's going to smoke quite a lot of laptops if you have any laptops from the previous years. Uh, then this is going to be much better. Obviously, depending on a laptop, for the price, it's hard to be. Now, let's talk about some of the upgrades. Perhaps you have a little bit of flexibility in your budget and you can stretch it up to 1300 in fact, 1100 or so. Then this is what I would be doing. I would change the motherboard up to MSI Pro B660A DDR4. So we're going to get a little bit more like length on the slot so you can add an extra capture card or Wi-Fi card or something like that in there. 
and it just gives you a little bit more upgradability, a little bit more flexibility, what you can add in there. It's not going to be a lot more extra. It's going to cost you extra $15, but it can come useful if you want to add a Wi-Fi card or something like that. For the CPU, I would upgrade to 12600K. I highly recommend you go check out my all 12th gen CPU lineup review where I compared all of them and how much performance you're going to get by each CPU. You'd know like how much performance you're going to get in different creative applications if you want to buy this CPU or upgrade it. But that's going to be extra $76 or around $70 upgrade for you. But now we're going to get from six cores to 10 cores. We're going to be adding extra four efficiency cores for this CPU. And that's going to absolutely change the game. And this 12600K is going to be better than any of the Intel's previous generation CPUs. Now that's absolutely ridiculous that i5 from 12th gen is much better than any of the 13th gen. Now because this CPU doesn't come with a cooler, we need a cooler for this. It's not hard to cool. It's very, very efficient and very, very cool. Runs very, very okay. Then we're going to use the Thermalright Assassin X120. It's around $20 cooler, but this is easily going to cool your CPU down and it just looks quite decent as well. Now upgrading the storage, I would use the Silicon Power P34 A60 one terabyte drive now. So we're going to get extra 500 gigabytes for the OS drive. So now we have a little bit more flexibility to use the OS drive as perhaps some of the project drives as well. I'll put them somewhere, something in there. You can get a secondary drive as well, depending on your budget, you know, get another drive because you do have two M.2 slots in the motherboard where you can put these in. And also you can put SATA SSDs if you want to upgrade your storage or your project drives, just add those or hard drives for your archive drives. Easily you can add them to your system. You can find some in the description below. For RAM, we'd be upgrading to 32 gigabytes of Silicon Power Gaming series. I'll leave them in the description below as well, but that's going to be extra $34.20. And now the GPU. Which GPU upgrade would you go for? I would kind of skip the RTX 3050 now because of the price that 3060s are and other GPUs are. And I would straight away jump to RTX 3060. So from 2060 to 3060 because we're going to get so much more GPU performance in terms of calculating performance as well as the VRAM. We're going to get 12 gigabytes now, which is going to be very good if you're working in DaVinci Resolve or doing some of the 3Ds where you need a lot more VRAM. This is going to be a great GPU for you. And this is going to cost extra $130. So depending if you want to upgrade the GPU or you need GPU for your workflow, that's how much the upgrade is going to cost you. Next for the power supply, I would upgrade the power supply to 650 watts, 80 plus gold variant. So I've got one here, AVGA G5 Supernova power supply. This is going to cost extra $25 for you, but it's going to be much more efficient. So the more you're going to use your PSU and the electricity prices here in the Europe and probably around the world are gonna go rocket high so if you're PC and you need to work on this you want this to be very very efficient just so it's not gonna you know hit your power bills so bad and for the case I'm actually gonna upgrade that a little bit as well it's gonna cost extra $20 and it's gonna be the Fantex Eclipse P300A so this is the upgrade options and if you want with every single one of those options it's gonna cost you $1105 dollars so it's going to be extra 350 dollars so depending if you can stretch that on your budget you can do that now you can upgrade just single one of these things as well you know upgrade only the cpu and cooler perhaps or only the gpu or add a bit more storage and so on so you can really flex and configure this to your budget now you might be saying well, I've got a little bit more flexibility Then what I'd recommend you to do is upgrade the RAM even more to like 64 gigabytes or get a little bit of a better GPU and motherboard to upgrade your connectivity. Uh, I'll leave a little bit more upgrade in the description below if you want to get more connectivity. Perhaps upgrade the GPU and get a little bit more of SSDs and working. So where you work, you've got enough storage to work your projects on and so on. Next up, $1,500. But now the surprise thing. Basically, I'm going to be building as the fifth video here in this video series i'm gonna actually be building a pc here live on this and you're gonna get it so one of you is gonna get it and not just the pc there's gonna be a little bit more extras over there i'm super excited to announce we're gonna do a 100k extra celebration pc giveaway and it's gonna be happening very very soon now the spec list for that is absolutely ridiculous i'm so happy that i've got some of the brands and boards to do this to give you absolutely ridiculous system like this is so much better than my own editing system and i'm so happy that someone's gonna get it oh and excitingly i have some last minute developments in fact we're actually giving away two pc 
overseas, one in the UK and one in the US. So definitely check out the details in the description below. So if you want to learn more about this, there's going to be a giveaway link in the description below where you can just enter the giveaway and enter to be one of the guys who actually win this. But be very careful, very, very, very careful here now, guys. If someone's going to comment down there and say you've won something, this is not how this works. OK, we're going to be announcing the winner live on camera so you know it's going to be you and I'm going to be contacting you on email. You don't have to contact anybody and you're going to not have to spend any money on shipping. So if someone's asking money for you for shipping, you know it's not me. OK, I'm never going to ask you money for shipping if we're going to do a giveaway. The point is that you're going to get something for free and that's the whole thing about the giveaway. So learn more about it in the description below. Hey, if you're new here, subscribe because videos like these are coming out every single week. But this is part one. Part two is coming very, very soon. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.